Hi there and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature and Flowers Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of these 3D photo effects. You can see here there's me puddle boarding out of my laptop, imagining a future away from work. Okay, to do this, what you need to do is obviously have two photographs on two different layers and a gradient background. And I'll talk you through the steps of how to create one of these straight away. So here is the photograph of a laptop at work. What you need to do then is place embedded a new picture on top of it. So here's one of me out on the ocean. Once you've got the picture, you'll need to position it where you want to place it and rescale it as you choose to do. Okay. And what I'm going to do on this is use the, the image of the sea and blend that in with the keyboard so it looks like it's one of the same things. So the first layer we need to do is isolate the subject from the picture, which we will do like so. So we will rasterize the layer first, then we will go to select subject, wait for Photoshop to work out what the subject is, use the quick select tool to add any extra bits of the subject that we want to add in, like so. And like so. So we've now got the whole subject of the image and we add a layer mask. So you can see now there's basically the person on the laptop and you can make it whatever size you want. Now that doesn't look quite as convincing as I'd like it to because there's not enough going on around the image to make it look really convincing. So what we're going to do, we're going to duplicate that layer. And once we've duplicated the layer, we are going to delete that layer mask and then we're going to add a different layer mask for just where the computer is. So we will use the polygon lasso tool and we will draw a polygon shape for exactly where the computer screen is. Like so. And then we'll add a layer mask on this one. And you can see we've got the image cut out with the background. So if I apply both of them, you can now see that we've got the person jumping out of the screen. So we've got the one with just the screen and then the one with the person on top. So you can see it overlaps the edges here and here, which is exactly what we want. Now we need to add a third layer to this to have the bit with the water in. So if we duplicate this layer again by clicking duplicate the layer, delete that layer mask, add a new layer mask, and this time we're going to sort of free draw in the bits that we want. So we're going to get a paintbrush down here, make sure it's fairly big, so it's nice and blended. Make sure we're in the general brushes and we're clicking on the soft round, so we've got a soft round brush. Then we need to make sure we're on the black down here in the colors, and then we can start to fade out all the bits that we don't want of the image and what we'll do we'll go around the edge so we've got all the bits removed apart from the water on the keyboard now that looks quite cool but i think we have a few of the keys showing so we can see that it's definitely a laptop that we're on so we'll experiment with how much of this we fade in and where we fade it so that we get that look now if we did too much like i just did there we will click to the paintbrush switch it over to white and then we can fade in some more bits here maybe a bit more copper up that bit there etc now that's brilliant we like that we've got the person we've got the laptop now we just need to mask out the edges to get rid of all the stuff on here so the first we're going to do is duplicate that layer. So we're going to duplicate that layer, we're going to click OK, and then we are going to hide all these layers for a moment. Use the polygon lasso tool again to get the edge of the table, like so, and go up round to the top, round to the top, and down to the bottom, and make sure it gets to the inner so it's flashing. We will then add a layer mask here, 
which will mask that bit out. No, it's masked the wrong bit out, my apologies. So we'll do Control Z, step back twice, and we will invert the selection, select inverse, then we will add our layer mask, and then we can just check if it's worked. We've cut out the background. We've got the image, the image. So there's one more layer we need to add in here. So we're going to add the layer, make sure it goes in behind that one. And this layer, we're going to add a gradient. So we're going to choose the gradient we want, which is going to be black and white. And if we get it right first time, that'll be perfect. We'll put in the gradient like so. And you will notice that we've got the background and we've lost some of the laptop screen now. So on this layer, we need to add in the edges of the laptop screen. And the best way to do that is to go to this part here. Hide all these things. Get the lasso tool again. Square in the laptop screen so it overlaps the edges here. Go to this and paint bucket fill in black the laptop screen so now when we put that behind it it will work now we'll do it the other way around my apologies again paint bucket in white and now it will look like everything fits together how we want it and control d you will also notice that we need to Crop the image to get rid of the sides here slightly. And you will also notice this little bit along here we didn't get right. So we will go back to our lasso tool and just mask off that little piece here. And we use the white paint bucket in here. No, we use the black paint bucket in here. And we've gone too far, I did it perfectly. As you can see, we need to think about what we're doing before we do it. And once we've done it, we use the paint bucket with white, with black, control D, and we've now masked out that last little bit. So there you go, that is a 3D photo effect in Photoshop using several layer masks to create the impression of a laptop on a desk with a person in the sea with a nice tidy edge. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed watching today's tutorial and um, experiment with different layers, different images together to create your own amazing 3D photo effects. Okay, thanks for watching. Obviously, if you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell, and I'll let you know when I make the next video. And give it a thumbs up. Okay, thanks for watching, and goodbye.